The net present value is the mathematical difference between the sum of a discounted um, cash inflow and the cash outflow. Hello, my name is Onion Zalinkachi. This is a King Sutor. If this is the first time I'm joining us, kindly click on the subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video if you like it. Okay, now uh, let's talk about the NPV. What is what the net present value? And before we do that, ensure you are subscribed. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back. We are talking about the net present value. Okay, so the net present value we said is the present and the difference between the present value of all cash inflows minus the present value of the cash outflow. Okay, it can also be seen as the um, mathematical difference between um, the present value of all benefits minus the present value of all what cost. Now, this method is a discounting um, um, techniques. Now, discounting technique in the sense that it takes cognizance of the time value of money. Now, what is time value of money? It means that uh, money erodes with what time. Meaning that 5,000 presently today would not have the same value as what 5,000 in the nearest future. Okay, so this um, method is used by businesses, organizations that embarks on what projects. Okay, so what it does is to look at the difference between their cash outflow, that is the cost they will incur, and the other streams of um, income they will get for various years. So those money we have to what discount them to the present value to check what the difference. Okay, so the NPV is given by the formula the net cash flow over 1 plus R raised to the power of N. Now, where our NCF is the net cash flow and our N is the number of years and our R is the discount rate, okay, or the rate of return. Let's use this. The rate of return or the cost of capital, okay, the rate of return or the cost of what? Capital. And there's a formula for the words that MPV. Okay, so the MPV, as per what was said, is used um, in a project to check because um, for a business that will embark on a project, definitely they will have an initial cost, an initial capital they will invest in that was project. Okay, and also they will um, have expected inflows of cash. So what this MPV helps to do is to check the difference between the money they are spending in terms of its present value and the money they will get from different years of the project in terms of its what present value. So all funds have to be what discounted to what present value. All future funds will be discounted to the present value. That is why it's an example of what a discounting what method or what techniques. Okay, so this formula is used with the net cash flows in N. N means what for various years we we'll have depending on the project we we'll have from either two, three, four, five years and above. Okay, and plus divided by one plus R. The R is the rate of return or the cost of capital or the business that will be given. That's the risk. Okay, why N stands for what the number of years. Okay, so also our R, which is the cost of capital, has also its formula as one over. 1 plus i raised to power n or 1 plus i raised to power minus n. Okay, so where our i is still our, our rate of return, or call it discount rate, and our n is the what? The number of years. 
and our n is what the number of here so the mpv can be positive or what negative now it is positive when all the inflows getting from different years that is converted to the present value exceed the present value of the art flow that is exceed what they invested in the project as far the cost okay that is when it is positive and it is also negative when what they invested in the project as per their cost is more than their expected what inflow is more than what their expected inflow okay so what do we do or what is the decision because in every project and method as per mpv decision is made after the calculations okay that is the essence we are using that um calculation to see how to analyze and come about with what a decision now when it is positive it means that the project is viable it means the project should be undertaken why because there will be profit afterwards because the present value of the um, the cash inflow is more than what they actually spent for the project so when it is positive we should accept the project but when it is negative it means what they are spending is more than what they will get so the project should not be what undertaken. That is, if it is for what a single project, okay. But once it's a mutual project, when um, uh, more than one project, how do we take a decision in that situation? We take a decision when, um, as regards the one that have the higher uh, NPV, the higher the, high, the higher net worth, present what value. That is when it has more than one project, and you want to select. This one has its own um, um, capital outflow. The other one has its own capital outflow. And they have their various inflows. Now, what do you do? You compare and contrast after you've done the calculation. Okay? Now, you check the one that has the higher NPP and embark on it. But for a single project, we take the one that has a positive MD and reject the one that has what? A negative NPP. Okay? So, we are going to see a question and how to solve. Now remember, if you're giving a um, question relating to MPV, you should put it or include it in a, ta uh, in a table. Now the table will look, the table will look towards like we we'll have number of years or the year. We we'll have the year. Now we we'll have the cash flow now we have the discount rates we have the discount rate and we have their respective ones, present value okay now this is the first section the year comprises of the different year of the project while the cash flow is what what they are expected to either spend or receive. So the discount rate is um, the respective cost of capital, while the present value is what we get afterwards. Now let's see a question on how to solve this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome. Okay, so I want to see a question from um, an NPV. Okay, but before we do that, I noticed I omitted something in the formula. So this is actual formula over 1 plus r per n minus i o now this was omitted in the previous okay of a mistake now this means uh, i o means initial capital outlay okay so for our net cash flow divided by 1 plus our rate risk power of n, which is number of years, minus IO means initial capital outlay. That means they are what? They are cost. The amount they use in what? Financing the what? The project. Okay? So that is what was um, omitted. So that is the actual formula for what? NPV. Okay? So let's move over. Um, let's move over to the question. Okay? And the question says, find the NPV of the project if the cost of capital is 5% and advise the, what, the management, okay? Now we have 
<laughs> we have Ye ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have the amount. Okay. Now, whenever you see um, amount in the brackets written to this, it means this is what is spent. This is their cost. And if you watch here, it is what the zero here. Okay. This is what the, what the actual what spent. Their money going out. Why these other ones are what their streams of what cash inflow that they expect from the what the project. So we are to calculate the NPV and also to advise the management on um, if to what to um, embark on this project or not. Okay. So let's um, start. Okay. So the first thing we do. First thing we do, as I said earlier on, our solution is to draw our table. So we we'll have here as year, we we'll have here as cash flows, we we'll have here as discount factor, and we we'll have here as what? The present values. Okay. So we're gonna put all this back. So uh zero, one, two, three, four, five. Now the cash flows are thirty thousand, we have eight thousand, we have nine thousand, we have six thousand, we have eight thousand. And we have 4,000. Okay, now the discount factor. Now, for the discount factor, the cell is what 5%. So, it's what 5%. That's the cost of capital. Okay, so we're going to bring out, produce a discount factor as we does this. Remember, I told you a discount factor, which is R, is given as. 1 over 1 plus i raised to power n. And this i is same as the rate of return. Or 1 plus i raised to power minus what n. Depending on what the number of what years. So if we are calculating for the, um, the first year, it is 0. The second one, 1, 2, like that. Okay? So, now, for exam condition, I'll show you how to do it very fast, okay? So, now the first thing, when it is zero, the, the cash outflow, the discount factor is always one. 1. 1.000, okay? If we substitute zero here, everything, anything responds to is what? One. So, what you do, the present value will not be the cash flow times the one discount factor will give us our present value. So this times this will give us this, which is still negative 30,000 because the money is going out. Okay? So we we'll produce this kind of factor for the rest. So in this situation, what do we do? For the next one, will be 5%. So we'll have 1 plus our i is the rate, which is 5%. 5% 5 is 5 divided by 100, which is 0 0.05 raised to power minus our n year is what? The one month calculate now is one year. Okay? So if you have your calculator, you will just punch 1 plus 0 0.05, which will give you 1.05 raised to the power of what? Minus 1. That will give you what? The discount rate factor. Okay? Or the discount rate. Okay? So if you do that, now doing it with my calculator, I will have 1.05 raised to the power of raised to the power of minus 1, you have 1.05 raised to the power of minus 1. We have 0 0.952. We have another factor, so let's leave it at this significant figure. We have 0 0.952. Okay. The same thing applies here. You do it again. So, you just add 1 plus this will give you 1.05. So, you also 1.05 raised to the power minus 2. The next one raised to the power minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, like that. Okay? So, the next one will be 1.05 raised to the power minus 2 to get a discount factor. And if you do that, from here, we will have 
zero point nine zero seven. The next one we have zero point eight six four. The next one we have zero point eight two three. The next one we have zero point seven eight four. Okay, so you can confirm that with your calculator. So you just put one point zero five root square minus depending on what the number of years. Okay, so our present value will now be this multiplied by this. Okay, so 8,000 multiplied by 0 0.952, it will now give us what? It will give us 7616. 7616. And 9,000 multiplied by 0 0.907 will give us 8613. 6,000 multiplied by this will give us 5184. 8,000 multiplied by this will give us 6584. And 4,000 multiplied by this will give us 3136. Okay? So, uh, if you notice, what this is doing is that look at the expected cash flow, the money they are going to get as inflow for subsequent years. First year, second year, third year, as the case may be. But what we are doing is discounting them to the present value. It means for one year after now, 8,000, the present value of 8,000 is what? 7,660. Okay? The same thing, 9,000, the present value is what? 8,660, like that. Okay? So, I'm going to add this. Now, we'll add this. These are all positive. So, we'll deduct it from negative. Okay? So, all these added... Now this is minus 30,000, okay? So we we'll have 76 plus 8613. So I we'll have 7616 plus 8613. 31,133 naira. Okay, 31,133 naira. It means that it is bigger than 30,000. So minus 30,000. Minus 30,000. So we have 1133. Okay, so we have 1133. So this 1133 is what we now call the net present value. This is not the word the net because you have deducted the uh, cash outflow in each present value from the streams of what cash inflow in the respective present value. So this is the net present value. So what is our decision? The management should embark on this project because it has a positive net present worth value. It means this project is viable. Okay? But if it is negative, we will ask them to what? reject the project. Because what they are spending is more than what they will get. Or in this situation, what they will get is more than their cash out flow. Okay? So that's how to do that. Okay? So in the next video, we are going to look at a situation whereby we have two projects. Mutually exclusive projects in which we are supposed to take one. How do we treat that? Okay, so if this is the first time I'm joining us, kindly like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, don't forget to shop and subscribe and share this video. Okay, thank you very much.